Welcome to this Monarch training. The goal of this training is for you to be able to use Monarch at its full potential and know all tips and tricks that we have thought of. But before that, in this first video, we will see what is Monarch and how it works globally. First of all, Monarch is both a method and a tool. The Monarch method is structured, meaning that you have steps to achieve your goal, iterative, meaning that this method can be repeated, and qualitative, meaning that we used scale and estimations and not precise data. This method is based on ISO 27005 and has mostly the same steps as the standard, at least on the version it was based on. The main differences with the standard is the decision points, as Monog suggests a bit more deliverable. Considering the architecture of Monarch, there is four different components. The front office, which is what we will concentrate in the next video. The front office is the principal interface to do some risk analysis. The back office is more a way to handle multiple front office and administrate them efficiently. You should have a back office if you need to deploy and configure multiple front office of Monarch. The global dashboard can display or send some statistics which help us and help you to have a good view on different Monarch component usage. However, we will see in more details the global dashboard in a further video. Finally, MOSP, which stands for Monarch Object Sharing Platforms, help you to get a new content for Monarch, which is shared by other organisms. Monarch is under GNU Affero General Public License version 3, meaning that Monarch is open source. But if you do any modification to the code, you then need to publish it, and it needs to be open source. In Monarch, Information risks are expressed in terms of vulnerabilities, threats and impacts, and can only be associated with secondary assets. Impacts are based on confidentiality, integrity and availability. Operational risks, on the other hand, are expressed in terms of probability and impacts and can only be linked to primary assets. Impacts are reputational, operational, legal, financial, or personal. Monarch is also optimized with four different points. Predefined models, which are some risks that are already in Monarch. Template of deliverable for the reports. Inheritance of the impacts, putting the responsibilities of the impact into the primary assets. And finally, globalized assets, that are assets that share the same risks on multiple primary assets. Finally, Monarch is also a multilingual tool. It is important to note that the language of the Monarch interface and the risk analysis are two different things and thus should be treated differently. Monarch can also help you for the GDPR through a checklist and records. Finally, a last important note. All links and documentation can be found in www.monarch.lu. So if you want to go further, it should be your first direction. Now, Let's get to the Monarch program itself. The two suggested browsers are Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome. You may experience different bugs or difficulty in other browsers. If, during all those videos, you encounter something different and your results don't seem to appear, do not hesitate to reload the page with, for instance, the shortcut CTRL plus R. 
the idea is to clean the cache of the browsers. Now you have to connect to the program. To do that, you should just reach the URL of your Monarch instance. You can also set up Monarch in a VM by following the instruction on monarch.lu, but this topic won't be covered in this video. So you have to fill your email and your password. If it is the first time you log in Monarch, either enter the password that was given to you or use the password forgotten option. If you have a second authentication setup, you should enter your one-time password. And now you should be connected and be on the same screen or something similar. Of course, this can change a bit depending the version we are, but all the procedure we are about to see should be essentially the same. If we analyze the screen we have, we can see three main zones. The first one on the left, the grey one, is the placement of all your risk analysis. You can create one or click on the risk analysis to access any that you want. You can also retract this menu in itself by clicking the three horizontal lines and make it reappear by clicking again on the three horizontal lines in the blue zone. The blue zone, the header, is basically always giving you the possibility to see where you are in Monarch and give you access to the options of your interface in Monarch. The icons represent, from left to right, the administration interface that you may not have and that we'll see in the next video, information on your account, the language of your interface and a disconnection button. In your account, you will find your name, email, and the possible MOSP API key that you can show or create an account. Without an account, it is possible to still download the resources, but you won't be able to share what you have done. You can also update your password, set up the two-factor authentication and delete your own account. By clicking on the flag, you can change the language of the interface. And the last button is to disconnect yourself. Now, let's see the screen with a risk analysis. You can see the risk analysis which is available on the right and in the first list at the center, so let's click on it. We can retract the menu to have a better work view. If we analyze what's new on the screen, we can see a colored bar with four steps in it. The bar gain color depending on the advancement of the risk analysis, as it can be seen when we check or uncheck the different sub-steps. This bar represents the method steps in Monarch. It is possible to click on each number to have a more precise view on each steps, easily access the different needed screens and validate our progress. Below, on the left panel, you have the representation of the risk analysis by assets. And below that, you have the asset library, where you can find all the blueprints for adding new assets in your risk analysis. On the center right, you can find the main working screen, where all the information risks or operational risks can be seen and modified. There are some commands icons that you can encounter during your use of Monarch. The magnifying glass icon, which is linked to a text area, is used to search for something specific. The plus button, that transforms into a minus button if you click on it, is to expand or retract a category that contains multiple elements. 
The vertical three points is often used to indicate a contextual menu. The vertical three points menu on the far right indicate different tools on Monarch that can be useful. The up or down arrows are mainly to respectively fold or unfold a category or make a choice for a specific field. The dot with a rounding arrow is to reset something, here for instance, or the filter that you may have applied. The orange download icon is often lead to export something. The pen is often used to edit something. The orange bean is often used to permanently delete something without any hope to having it back from Monarch, so be extra careful before confirming any of it. The orange scissors are to permanently detach something. While it does not delete anything, it severs the link between the two elements. There are, of course, more icons as this list is non-exhaustive, but we will discover them during the next videos. And that's it for this video. The next video should be a short deep dive into the user interface for the administration panel. You can skip this one if you are not concerned. The next subject will talk about the creation of a risk analysis and the first step of Monarch. I wish you a nice day and I will see you on the next video.